Let us have another example wherein we are going to solve another quadratic equation using quadratic formula. 18x squared minus 12x plus 2 equals 0. You'll notice that the numerical coefficients are all divisible by 2. So we can now first divide all of the numbers by 2, giving us 9x squared minus 6x plus 1 equals 0. This makes the values of A, B, and C smaller and easier to handle. Thus, the value of A is 9, B is negative 6, and C is positive 1. Using the quadratic formula, x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And then by substitution, negative b is negative 6 plus or minus the square root of b, which is negative 6, squared minus 4 times 9 times 1 all over 2 times 9. Simplifying, the value of x will now be a positive 6 plus or minus the square root of negative 6 squared is 36. Negative 4 times 9 is 36. Negative 36 times 1 is a negative 36. All over 2 times 9 is 18. 36 minus 36 equals 0. Therefore, we'll no longer have a radigan. In which case, we'll now have 6 over 18. And we can still simplify 6 over 18, where x will now be equal to 1 third. We are now going to find out if 1 third satisfies our original equation by checking when x is equal to 1 third, our original equation 18x squared minus 12x plus 2 equals 0. By substitution, 18 times 1 third squared minus 12 times 1 third plus 2 equals 0. We first square 1 third, which will give us 1 ninth. So 18 times 1 ninth, 12 times 1 third will give us 4 plus 2 equals 0. Now 18 times 1 divided by 9 is equal to 2 minus 4 plus 2 equals 0. 2 minus 4 will give us a negative 2. And then negative 2 plus 2 will give us 0. This appears that the value of x one-third satisfies our equation.